Welcome you all. Here in this video, we are going to see how to connect the BSNL broadband to your system using Wi-Fi. This is D-Link router and on my right, I have Belkin Wi-Fi modem. Now, first of all, you have to connect the telephone line to the RJ11 port. In case if your Wi-Fi device has got a router, then you have to put that telephone line into your Wi-Fi device. If your Wi-Fi device has got a router, is also a modem plus router, then it will have an RJ11 port. You have to put it there. Now next you have to take a LAN wire, connect it to the router and whose other end is connected to the Wi-Fi modem. Now connect this wire to the WAN port of the Wi-Fi modem. If your Wi-Fi has got a modem plus router, then it will have a RJ11 port in which you have to insert the telephone line. Now wait for all the lights on the router to be static. It should not blink. As here you can see. System. Now coming on the system, open the browser, connect, get connected to the Wi-Fi. As here the system is connected to the Wi-Fi but there is no internet connection. You can see their yellow explanation mark. Now on the browser type 192.168.1.1 and press enter. Now it will ask for user ID and password. Put admin admin in both. The user and ID and password might vary for your router. So check it online for the default ID and password. Now here you have to do the ADSL setup. Uh, keep the connection IP version IP, IP4 and the ADSL connection type is triple POE. Now in the username and password, you have to put the username given by the BSNL. In the username section, you have to give your username and in the password, it is password generally. But if it is different, get the user ID and password from the BSNL office. Put the service name BSNL. Do not change rest of the setting. The only thing you need to change is VPI and VCI. Keep the VPI 0 and VCI 35. Now after giving the correct username, ID and password, save settings. Now let's check if internet is working. As you can see, internet is working fine. Now let's try to do the speed test. For that go to speedtest.net. Here begin test. As you can see here, the download speed is 2.27 Mbps and upload speed is 0.71 Mbps. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.